Carl Celian Icahn is an American businessman. He is the founder and controlling shareholder of Icahn Enterprises, a diversified conglomerate holding company based in New York City, formerly known as American Real Estate Partners. He is also chairman of Federal Mogul, an American developer, manufacturer and supplier of powertrain components and vehicle safety products. In the 1980s, Icahn developed a reputation as a corporate raider after profiting from the hostile takeover and asset stripping of the American airline TWA. According to Forbes magazine, Icahn had a net worth of $16.7 billion in 2020, making him the 26th wealthiest person on the Forbes 400, and the fifth wealthiest hedge fund manager. Icahn served as special economic advisor on financial regulation to U.S. President Donald Trump briefly in 2017, leaving amid concerns of conflicts of interest. Chapter 1 Early Life and Education Icahn was born in Brooklyn and raised in a Jewish family. He was raised in the Far Rockaway, Queens neighborhood of New York City, where he attended Far Rockaway High School. His father, Michael Eichen, an atheist, was a cantor, and later a substitute teacher. His mother, Bella also worked as a school teacher. Eichen graduated from Princeton University with an A.B. in philosophy in 1957 after completing a senior thesis titled The Problem of Formulating an Adequate Explication of the Empiricist Criterion of Meaning. He then entered New York University School of Medicine, but he dropped out after two years to join the Army Reserves. Chapter 2 – Business Career Chapter 2 – Section 1 – Early Career 1961-2005 Icahn began his career on Wall Street as a stockbroker in 1961. In 1968, with $150,000 of his own money and a $400,000 investment from his uncle, M. Elliot Schnall, which allowed him to buy a seat on the New York Stock Exchange, he formed Icahn & Company, a securities firm that focused on risk arbitrage and options trading. In 1978, he began taking controlling positions in individual companies. Icahn developed a reputation as a corporate raider after his hostile takeover of Trans World Airlines in 1985. Icahn systematically sold TWA's assets to repay the money he borrowed to purchase the company, which was described as asset stripping. In 1988, Icahn took TWA private, gaining a personal profit of $469 million, and leaving TWA with a debt of $540 million. In 1991, he sold TWA's London routes to American Airlines for $445 million. He formed LoisFares.com to sell TWA tickets and acquired portions of global leisure travel from Rami El Batrawi to merge into it. Icahn launched an unsuccessful $7 billion hostile takeover for 89% of U.S. steel in late 1986. In July 2001, Icahn's Riverdale, LLC lent Genesis Intermedia $100 million in exchange for an option to purchase 2 million shares of the company. In 2004, after Mylan Laboratories had announced a deal to acquire King Pharmaceuticals, Icahn purchased a large block of stock and threatened a proxy fight over the acquisition. Mylan later gave up its efforts to acquire King. Chapter 2 Section 2 Takeover Offers and Pharmaceutical Holdings 2005-2010. In 2005, Exo Holding announced its intention to sell the wired part of its business for $700 million to its majority shareholder and chairman Icon. the money would be used to pay back its debts and to buy back its preferred stock for about $600 million from Icon. Icon would have then owned the wired business outright, and still own his 60% stake in Exo. In spite of Icon's majority ownership and the board of directors declaring the deal to be in the best interest of shareholders, our two and other minority shareholders defeated the attempt through the Delaware court in 2008, which awarded penalties for damages to the business caused by Icon's self-dealing and or conflict of interest. In August 2006 Icon bought stock in the video game publisher Take-Two Interactive, and later increased his holdings to 11.3% in 2009, becoming the company's second largest shareholder. In January 2007, 
he purchased a 9.2% stake in Telic, a biotech company engaged in cancer research. He also made an investment of 6.1 million shares of WCI Communities. He also owned about 33.5 million shares of Motorola, but in May was refused a seat on its board of directors. On February 9, 2007, Lear Corporation's board of directors accepted a $2.3 billion takeover offer from Icon. That month he also invested $50 million in Matricity, a North Carolina-based provider of mobile content delivery technology. In 2007, Icon and his affiliates also owned majority positions in ACF Industries, American Railcar Industries, Philip Services, and NYSE-listed Icon Enterprises. By September he also owned 8.5% of the business software company BEA Systems. He increased his holdings to 13% in October, two months before Oracle Corporation announced it was purchasing BEA Systems. Beginning in 2007, Icon gradually increased his stake in biotechnology company Biogen. Icon sold his casino interests in Nevada in February 2008, including the Stratosphere, Arizona Charlie's Boulder, Arizona Charlie's Decatur, and Aquarius Casino Resort, which were operated through American Entertainment Properties, a subsidiary of Icon Enterprises. The sale price of $1.3 billion was roughly $1 billion more than he paid for the properties. In March 2008, Icon sued Motorola as part of his effort to gain four seats on Motorola's board and force a sale of its mobile business. In May 2008, Icon purchased a large block of shares in Yahoo, and shortly thereafter threatened to start a proxy fight to remove Yahoo's board of directors in response to their rejection of Microsoft's takeover bid. Instead, he forced an agreement to expand Yahoo's board to 11 members, including Icon and two others of his choice. In June 2008, Icon launched the Icon Report, which hosts United Shareholders of America where individual investors can sign up and campaign for shareholder rights. In September-October 2008 Icon was involved in the rejected attempted purchase of Imclone by Bristol Myers, Squibb, and in the eventual sale of Imclone to Eli Lilly and Company in an all-cash deal valued at $6.5 billion. In December that year he filed suit against RealG over a proposed debt swap. In April 2009, Icon engaged in a proxy battle for Amelin. In September, he offered to buy the shares of Exo he did not already own for 55 cents each. He later raised his offer to 80 cents, which ultimately expired. In October, he resigned from the board of directors at Yahoo, and by the following February had reduced his equity stake from a one-time high of 75 million shares to 12 million shares. Icon was a director of Blockbuster until January 2010 and the chairman of Imclone, Icon Enterprises, Exo Communications, West Point Home, CODIS, and American Railcar Industries. He is a beneficial owner of Advent Pharmaceuticals, and Vector Group. Icon also tried to take over Marvel Comics. Icon, through a subsidiary of his Icon Enterprises LP, acquired the Fontainebleau property in Las Vegas for about $150 million in February 2010. In March he was one of a group of lenders who purchased Tropicana Casino and Resort Atlantic City, bringing the company out of bankruptcy for $200 million. Also in March he conducted a failed takeover bid for Lionsgate Films. In May he announced ownership of about 12% of Haines Celestial Group Inc. and the purchase of an 8.54% stake in Lawson Software. Chapter 2 Section 3 Proxy Battles and Technology Positions, 2010-2015 In May 2010, Icon held a 6.9% stake in Mentor Graphics, increasing to 14% in July. Mentor's retaliation with a poison pill provision failed to deter Icon who, in February of the next year, made an offer to buy the company for about $1.86 billion in cash. In January 2011, Icon once more made a bid to purchase the remaining shares of the EXO holder common stock. By February he had accumulated a 9.08% stake in the Clorox company. On March 15, 2011, 
Mentor's board issued a strong warning to its shareholders against a proxy action by Icon. In October 2012, Icon purchased a 10% stake in Netflix. In November, he tried to gain control of the Oshkosh Corporation Board of Directors. In February 2013, Forbes listed Icon as one of the 40 highest earning hedge fund managers. By April, he had accumulated a 9.2% stake in Nuance Communications and Incorporated on August 2, 2013. Icon sued computer giant Dell and its board in an attempt to derail a $24.4 billion buyout bid by the CEO, Michael Dell in favor of his own rumored forthcoming bid. In October 2013, Icon held 4.7 million shares of Apple, having been an outspoken proponent. The same month, Icon acquired around 61 million shares in Talisman Energy prompting shares in the ailing Canadian oil producer to surge. Also that month he sold about 50% of his shares in Netflix for a profit in excess of $800 million in less than one year. In November he acquired a 12.5% interest in Hologic, a medical device and diagnostics manufacturer. In January, 2014, Icon paid another half billion dollars for Apple Incorporated shares he considered very cheap. Also in January, Icon proposed to eBay to spin off PayPal, an e-commerce business. This started a proxy fight which was settled by April. In October 2014, Icon took a stake in Canadian energy company Talisman Energy. The company's stock price went down by 71%, and he sold his shares two months later. Chapter 2 Section 4, Lyft, PayPal, and Other Pursuits, 2015 Present On May 15, 2015, Icon made a $100 million investment in the ride-sharing service Lyft. In November 2015, Icon hired CBRE Group Incorporated to market the unfinished resort Fontainebleau Las Vegas to potential buyers. That month he swapped his stake in eBay for the same number of PayPal Holdings shares. At that time Icon held a 7.13% stake in Xerox, making him the second largest investor after the Vanguard Group. In December 2015 Icon made a qualifying offer to purchase the auto parts and maintenance chain PEP boys for $15.50 a share. He also raised his stake in the Houston-based energy company Chenier Energy to 13.8%, making him its largest shareholder. I can sold the unfinished Las Vegas casino, Fontainebleau, for $600 million in August 2017. In January 2016, I can held a 4.66% stake in Gannett Company Incorporated, and also held shares in Chenier Energy and Freeport MC Moran, both of which declined in value. Icon sold his Apple shares in April 2016, citing concerns about Apple's relationship with China. In August of that year he purchased 10% ownership of Herbalife, his holdings in the company were about 19 million shares by October. Also in October, Icon closed the Trump Taj Mahal Casino in Atlantic City, citing a $350 million loss over several years as well as failure to reach a deal with striking union workers. Nearly 3,000 workers lost their jobs. That year he also increased his holdings in the car rental company the Hertz Corporation, after the company's stock price had declined significantly. On May 26, 2020, Icon, 84, sold his entire 55.3 million shares of Hertz Global for 72 cents a share, according to a regulatory filing. His holding represented about 39% of the company's stock. Hertz Global Holdings Incorporated, the rental car company, had filed for bankruptcy the previous week. This roughly six-year bet lost Icon almost $1.60 billion. Icon has been critical of passive investing and index funds, believing that the practice has led to a bubble in the price of U.S. stocks. Chapter 3 Public Policy, and Economic Views Icon endorsed Donald Trump for the 2016 U.S. presidential election. He also announced the formation of a super PAC pledging $150 million to push for corporate tax reform, in particular of inversions, which occur when corporations leave the U.S. to take advantage of lower tax rates elsewhere. Upon becoming the presumptive Republican presidential nominee, 
Trump announced that he would nominate Icahn for Treasury Secretary. However, this position went to Steve Mnuchin instead. On December 21, 2016, it was announced that Icahn would serve as special advisor to the President on regulatory reform under President Donald Trump. CNBC reported that Icahn would aid Trump in an individual capacity rather than as a federal employee, and that he would not have specific duties and therefore would not have to relinquish his business interests while serving as an advisor to Trump. Icahn stepped down from this role on August 18, 2017 citing a desire not to interfere with the work of Naomi Rao as Administrator of the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs. In February 2018, Icahn avoided a $6 million loss by selling down his holdings in a steel price-sensitive stock just days before the Trump administration announced a new 25% tariff to be imposed on steel imports. When the president had Icahn interview Scott Pruitt, during consideration of his nomination as administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency, Icahn specifically asked Pruitt about his position on the EPA's renewable fuel standard. Icahn has also spoken directly to President Trump and to Gary Cohen about his proposed changes to the ethanol rule. CVR Energy, in which Icahn has 82% ownership, would save $205.9 million a year if Icahn's proposal is adopted. The Sugar Land, Texas oil refinery benefited when President Trump made an exception to his regulation freeze to expand the tax advantage of master limited partnerships. CVR Energy's stock doubled after President Trump's election, increasing $455 million in value. Chapter 4, Personal Life In 1979, Icahn married Liba Trejbal, a ballerina from the former Czechoslovakia. They separated in 1993 and divorced in 1999 after years of litigation during which Liba sought to invalidate a prenuptial agreement, claiming duress as she was pregnant when she signed it. Lieber originally fought Icon's offer of roughly $1.5 million a year because he was worth billions at the time and eventually settled for an undisclosed amount. They have two children, Brett Icon and Michelle Celia Icon Nevin. His nephew is Rick Schnall. In 1999, Icon married his longtime assistant and former broker, Gail Golden. She has two children from a previous marriage. Chapter 5 Personal Wealth According to Forbes magazine, Icon had a net worth of $16.6 .6 billion in 2017, making him the 26th wealthiest person on the Forbes 400, and the 5th wealthiest hedge fund manager. Chapter 6 Philanthropy Icon Stadium on Randall's Island in New York City is named after him as is the Carl C. Icahn Center for Science and Icahn Scholar Program at Choate Rosemary Hall, a prep school in Connecticut. This organization pays for tuition, room and board, books, and supplies for 10 students every year for four years, an endowment valued at about $400,000 per annum. Icahn made a substantial contribution to his alma mater, Princeton University, to fund a genomics laboratory which bears his name, the Carl C. Icahn Laboratory at the University's Institute for Integrated Genomics. He also made large contributions to Mount Sinai Hospital New York, of which he is a trustee, which in return not only named a building the Icahn Medical Institute designed by Davis Brody Bond, but also, in 2013, renamed the Mount Sinai School of Medicine as the Icahn School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. The Genomics Institute led by Eric Schatt was also renamed and is now the Icahn Institute for Genomics and Multiscale Biology. His foundation, the Children's Rescue Fund, built Icahn House in the Bronx, a 65-unit complex for homeless families consisting of single pregnant women, and single women with children, and operates Icahn House East and Icahn House West, both of which are homeless shelters located in New York City. In 2010, I can join the giving pledge list, pledging to give away more than half his fortune, yet has not decided on the specific beneficiaries. Chapter 7, Awards and Honors Icahn has received a number of awards, including the Golden Plate Award of the American Academy of Achievement in 1984, Starlight Foundation's Founders Award, and the Foundation's 1990 Man of the Year Award. He was also named Guardian Angel 2001 Man of the Year. In 2004, 
he was honored by the Center for Educational Innovation, Public Education Association for his work with charter schools. In 2006, he was honored with the 100 Women in Hedge Funds Effecting Change Award for his outstanding contributions to improving education. Chapter 8, Thoroughbred Horse Racing In 1985, Eichen established Foxfield Thoroughbreds, a horse breeding operation. At that year's Newstead Farm Trust sale run by Fasig Tipton, he paid $4 million for Larida, a six-year-old mare and a record $7 million for the four-year-old bay mare Miss Oceana, who was in foal to champion sire, Northern Dancer. Icon's Meadow Star won the 1990 Breeders' Cup Juvenile Fillies and was voted the Eclipse Award for Outstanding Two-Year-Old Filly. In 1992, Foxfield ended its racing operation and became a commercial breeder. Having bred more than 140 stakes horses. In 2004, I can shut down Foxfield, selling all his mares and weanlings without reserve at the Keeneland Sales November breeding stock auction.